So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your very own mask code at this side. And today we will be solving the problem zigzag tree traversal, right? Okay. So what does the problem say? The problem says that you have given a tree as input, right? Tree as your input, right? And you have to traverse it zigzagly, right? So we have already seen pre-order, post-order, in-order, and level order, right? Now the zigzag tree traversal states that start from the first level go like this so you encounter one so your first element becomes one now go like this so you encounter three first then two so three first then two right now from here start like this so you encounter four then five then six then seven so four then five then six then seven right now go like this So encounter 11, 10, 9, 8. 11, 10, 9, 8, right? So this is your answer array. You have to provide this, this to me as your answer, right? So we have already seen how to solve level order reversal. So what is level order reversal? This, then in the same direction, this, then in the same direction, this, then in the same direction this so what is my level order corresponding to it? it is one then two three so you can pair them up like this right then four five six seven right after that eight nine ten eleven right okay so if i observe this is my level one if i say my root level is level one right so for level one the order remains same for level 2, the order changes. You can see it is 3, 2 and it is 2, 3. So reversal. If I reverse this, I will get this, right? Okay. Then for the level 3, again, the order remains same. For level 4, it again reverses. So 8, 9, 10, 11 becomes 11, 10, 9, 8. 11, 10, 9, 8. So what, I can, what can I say? That if somehow I get... level order traversal level wise level wise what what do i mean by level wise that is first vector contains one and then second vector contains two three then third vector contains four five six seven then fourth vector contains eight nine ten eleven right this is my level order traversal this is my level one level two level three level four right okay level wise then i can get my zigzag traversal how will i get my zigzag traversal for that you can see that when I'm at my second level. You can see I have to reverse again when I'm at fourth level. So similarly, if I go to fifth level, I will not reverse it. For sixth level, I will reverse it. For seventh level, I will not reverse it. For eighth level, I will reverse it, etc. So on and so forth, right? Okay. So what can I do if I get them level wise? Then for each second level, I can reverse the level and obtain zig zag level order traversal right okay for those of you who have not seen level order they have two options to either watch my level order previously uploaded on the channel or i will explain again so how we are going to do the level order i will use a queue why i will use a queue it is mentioned in the previous video you can just search level order traversal mass order and i guess you will get it right Okay, so what do we do with Q? So in Q, I will put 1, right? My Q contains initially 1, my root element, right? Now, I will uh, do the loop until my loop beca uh, Q becomes empty. So I have Q, Q dot push root. Now, while Q dot empty. So what will I do? I will just take my node as Q dot front. That is 1 in this case. And then remove that element from the node, Q right so this gets removed now first i will push it into the vector so i will create oh before that because i want it level wise what will i do i will take n equals to q dot size because the number of elements present in the queue are actually on the same level are actually on the same level how can i say that you can see first it will contain one after that i will pop out one and it will contain two three so two three are on the same level after that, I will pop out 2, I will pop out 3, and it will contain 4, 5, 6, 7. They are on the same level. And then 8, 9, 10, 11. They are also on the same level, right? 
okay so n equals to q dot size now for n i equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus right that many times i will remove because they are the level on uh, they are the nodes on the same level i will create an uh, let's say vector of int level here and only right and right this will contain my particular level and what will i do i will take node as q dot front q dot pop right okay then i will push that uh, node into my level so level dot push back nodes data now if node has a left child q dot push node left push that child into the queue and if node has right child push that into the queue right and after the loop is over your level on a traversal let's say the traversal is traversal and type of array it will contain a vector or vector in so i will first declare here that is vector of vector int name this array as traversal right okay so traversal dot push back level and then the loop will re empty right so what we, after this loop what will my traversal look like so my traversal will look like for this given tree will look something like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven right this is my traversal now to obtain the zigzag order i will have to return i will have to reverse this one and this one right so what will i do i can see the index so it is my index 0 index 1 index 2 index 3 right so whenever let me change the ink whenever index is odd reverse and then you will obtain your zigzag array zigzag array now the question demands you to uh, output the simple vector int not the vector vector int vector or vector int so my answer will be a vector int type and i will just push all the elements into the vector of uh, into the answer from the traversal right okay that is simple that is nothing to be uh, scared about right this problem is really easy if you know the traversal right okay one other problem one other approach i can deal deal with you is so if i see the map or tree again so it is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven right this is my tree suppose so what is my original flow i am creating a queue right i am creating a queue and then pushing one popping it out then two three right pop them out pop two out and four five pop three out then six seven then pop four out push eight then pop five out push nine then pop six out push ten then pop seven out pop uh, push eleven then pop eight pop nine pop ten pop eleven this is my flow right now right now to obtain the zigzag order traversal what can i say i will make some modification so my, how many of you have heard of the term double ended queue double ended queue which is also known as dq right which is also known as dq so dq has a special property like in queue what is the property of queue queue says first in first out that is if i push first one in it then i will have to pop out one from it but dq says you can push in from either end and pop out from either end that is suppose this is your dq this is open at both ends right this was closed at one end but this is open at both ends right so it says suppose i push one into it right 
I pushed one into it. Now I push two into it. I push three into it, right? Now you will say because it is a cube, the first operation to pop out will give me one. But I will say no. There are two possible answers in this case. I can either push out this, this can be my one of the answer, or I can also take out this. That is the last element also. So TQ is actually a combination of stack and queue, right? A combination of stack and queue. And say, uh, like I can push, pop the uh, pop element out of out from either side, I can also push. So I can push from here also, push here also. So TQ provides me this facility, right? So what can I use? How can I use it to facilitate my answer, right? Okay. So, so now I will be using the double ended queue to facilitate my answer. What will I do? I will generally push in one. So pushed one. This is my level one, right? So pushed one from the starting. Right. Okay. Now my size is one right now. My size is one. So popped it out. I popped it out. I mentioned it here. Now two and three are children. So mention two here. Mention three here, right? This element has been removed already. Now two and three are here. And when level has increased, my level has increased to level two. For level two, that is an even level. For all, uh, what were what were our observation that for all level we were going from left to right, and from for even level we were going from right to left, right? This was the directions, right? So similarly, for even level, pop it out from here, pop it out from this side. Like in the one case that we are popping out, popping it out from this side, from this side. Now pop it out from this side, right? Okay. So what I'm saying is. First, you pop out three. You popped out three. Mentioned it here, right? Okay, you popped it out. You popped it out three. Now, six and seven are its children. Six and seven are, are its children. Okay, you mentioned six, uh, seven here. Six here. At this end, at the front end, right? Okay, now, after three popped out two. From, that, from the same uh, rear end only, right? Mentioned two here. For two, Mention five first, that is the right child first, then four, right? Okay. Now the level is three. For three, we go from left to right. So start popping out from here. Pop out four. Mention eight. Now eight will be mentioned here, right? Okay. Similarly, pop out five. Mention nine. Pop out six. Mention uh, ten. Pop out seven. Mention eleven, right? Okay. Then again, level four, level four, when well, level four from rear end to the front end. So pop out four, mention it here, pop out 10, then nine, then eight, right? And you can see this is my order. So I just use one queue to get my answer and I don't have to create a traversal 2D, 2D vector, right? Okay. Now also with the time complexity of both the cases, the, both the cases are using the same time complexity actually and same space, right? So you can see it is taking O of n time and the space I'm using is O of n for Q plus O of n for my traversal vector which is O of 2n and that concludes to O of n. And for this case, for double ended Q, I'm using O of n time again because I'm traversing each node only once and my time com space complexity, complexity is also one because I'm using only one Q. This is efficient, I, I know, but the space complexity and time complexity are same. So I will just use the previous case only this algorithm only because I'm comfortable in coding that right okay so what will I use I will first create my let I assume that I able to see my, see my screen so vector of vector int traversal right okay now I will create a queue of type node star q right okay q dot push root oh sorry q dot push root now, while q dot empty, right? This while q dot empty, what will I do? I will first take my size q dot size, and I will create my level. So vector of it level. Now, for int i going from zero i up till n i plus plus. What will I do? I will say that my node star node is actually q dot front and q dot pop, right? Now, first push that value into the answer. So level dot push 
back nodes data and then if nodes level left exist then q dot push uh, nodes left and similarly if nodes right exists so q dot push nodes right right okay after this this answer add it to the traversal so traversal okay traversal dot push back level and now for the zigzag i will invert the odd indexes right i have just studied that i will invert the reverse the odd indexes array right so now for int i equals to 0 i less than traversal dot size i plus plus what will i do if my i percentile 2 equals to equals to 1 that is my index is odd uh trav reverse that i will use the inbuilt function of reversing reverse traversal i dot begin with traversal i dot end right now this will give me the zigzag order but in level wise form now to obtain my answer in vector of int form i will create my vector int answer and now for int i equals to zero or i can just include it here only i will form it here control x and control v here now for int j equals to zero j less than or i will use the auto operator so for auto iterator in uh, traversal i answer dot push back it right and then return your answer okay so it should run fine let's see it will run fine if you have subscribed to my channel and guys please suggest me what should i do to grow my channel more because i know that your opinion matters matters to me a lot okay so there is a typing mistake it will be double brackets here so let's check if it is running fine so some one of you have not subscribed that is why it has happened and it should work fine now taking a lot of time run fine okay for now submit for in the meantime please comment what should i do to grow my channel more and connect with you guys so you can see you 97 day streak and thank you for watching we will share another question with another energy fit to with you tomorrow till then keep watching and stay tuned thank you have a nice day